Welcome to Raw Veracity. Hey, I brought y'all in the kitchen today because I just wanted to prepare my food for tomorrow. Because my ass gonna be getting up in the morning. So, y'all just gonna keep me company because I just don't like being in the kitchen by myself. That's it. I'm using you. I'm gonna make chicken salad off of this fried chicken I had yesterday. I'm gonna make chicken salad. That's old school. I ain't putting no damn grapes and shit in no in no nuts and shit. I ain't doing that shit. Just basic chicken salad. This this is Michelle, y'all. I like Michelle. She just keep talking about dick too much, but I like her shit. I I just replace it with my thing, you know. She ain't talking about my son. <laughs> she talking about y'all son. cook without taking a little sippy sip. Y'all want to take a little sippy sip with me? This shit pretty good. Y'all should try it. You know what? To me, I had a good day. I hope y'all had a good day. Nobody died. Nobody got an accident. No bad shit. Totally happy. So we had a good day. So cheers. <sighs> so I got me three pieces of breast. Take the skin off and cut it up. When I get some more subscribers, I'll start going live. But until now, I'm just going to do my little videos. I know what, speaking of live, I need all my family to follow me. Like, word on everything. All my family, especially my first cousins and all that. You know, y'all niggas need to follow me. 
I'm gonna turn this whole thing. I'm gonna end up making a making a podcast. So y'all gotta stay up tuned, up to date, up to date. With me. You know, represent in click, like, share. You know, represent your blood. See what she talking about? Oh, lady. I like I like Memphis women. My woman from Memphis, so I can relate. I have to switch it around. I, I mean, I don't have no cameraman, so y'all can't see what I'm doing. But. I'm just cutting up my chicken. Everybody know how to make chicken salad, so. Don't put the skin in there. You know, you got real, 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 real with you. She's gonna stash the weed for you. Straight out of work, yo. I ain't gonna take my work shirt off. But you know what? It's raw. It's just me. Like I'm not finna get. I'm not about to get dressed up and just do all that. When I feel a vibe, I feel a vibe. My vibe today was gratefulness. Like just happy to be here. Happy to have a good life. Happy to, you know, just grateful for the small things. You know, a lot of people want a lot of great things, and I do too. But I'm, I'm grateful for the for the small things and the big things. So. Everybody who know me, saw me, met me, y'all niggas definitely better follow me for real. Cause I don't know about this damn social media. This shit is ridiculous. It like social media had you one day pissed off because niggas would be straight looking at your shit. And never like it. I've been all the way across the world. I be getting 12 likes on my shit. And I know my pictures be dope. I'm like, y'all niggas, I got like 300 friends. I got at least 30 damn. No, I got at least 70 damn family members on my shit. I'm like, I get 13 likes. Boy, social media be having you pissed off. Make make you want to shut that shit down. So like, man follow you and look at your shit and don't even like it comment nothing just like but then this be the fucked up shit when they see you they know everything you fucking did be like what up what up book bro i see you i see you going all the way around the world yeah i see i see i'm like bro i see sis what you saw my shit you you know everywhere i've been people crazy People crazy. But I don't let the crazy people bother me, you know. Gotta keep it moving. But it's just crazy. I see people shit. I even like ugly pictures. Like, you know what I mean? If I fuck with you, I'm even gonna like your shit. Even if it's ugly, I'm like, oh. You know what I mean? Just because I fuck with you, but hey, everybody ain't like me. Now I ain't finna buy no shit. 
I'm not that nigga. I ain't finna buy no shit just because I know you. But damn, I, you can like the damn page and like the like the videos and pictures and shit. That don't cost you nothing. You know? Y'all hear my, my, my baby tap dancing on the floor? That's my... That's my Kingston. I can't. I can't right now, Kingston. I can't. You want some chicken? That's why you jumped in. There you go. I love all my peoples. I love everybody. You know what I mean? I don't say no, no negative mojo to nobody. How is? Y'all do the same for me, you know? I ain't got no friends, but I got a lot of damn family. Shit, you have your peace when you ain't got a whole bunch of motherfuckers in your face anyway. I learned that the hard way. I just had, just had to let them niggas go. Because niggas fuck with you and they want something. They want to ride. They want to borrow some money till payday. They want to borrow some money till tax time. They want to, shit, sometimes borrow your whole fucking life. I'm like, no, thank you. I'm okay. With my, with my family. Family, family first. I'm going to teach y'all something. You know, every time you touch the trash can, you should wash your hands. Y'all niggas don't go. That's why I don't be eating from people. Hey, I feel like grapefruit. I feel that like grapefruit and rose. Kettle one botanical. Oh, this my shit right here. Friends is a motherfucker, y'all. Y'all don't be fooled by them fake friendships out there. If you call yourself a friend, you can't just have your hand out the whole time. You gotta, you got, you gotta give, receive, give, receive. Don't just. Receive, 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 receive. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? You know, I had a friend. I had a few friends like that. I had to cut their ass off. Well, really, I'm not super rude, so they just stopped calling and I let them. Shit. I ain't gonna call them, check on your ass. God bless you, though. I had my friends stop calling me when I got engaged. Bro, I've been losing friends since high school. <laughs> I give a damn. I can't, I can't do friends that, uh, you know, the ones that want you to agree with everything they say. I can't do that. You're like, yeah, man, I smacked that bitch. I'm be like, bro, you smacked her? Yeah, man, you know. You nah, bro, that was not cool. What you mean, bro? <laughs> Friends, family, don't let nobody use y'all, man. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't care. We came out the same pussy hole, nigga. We, you, I'm not about to let you use me. Not about to let you use me. Go on to the next nigga. Don't be so afraid to let niggas go just because you want to. Don't want to be lonely. When you be, when you, when you by yourself, you get a chance to think about everything. You get a chance to be able to go back, rewind. You can use that that 
quiet time to build yourself up. I like being by myself. I don't mind it. But when it's time to come out, shit. I don't be wanting to go out. Be like, man. But then once I get out, I'll be alright. Cutting my chicken, cutting my little chicken up the little pieces. Yeah, this is going to be for lunch for me and my baby tomorrow. You know. I like to do sweet stuff, you know. Whatever, I want to be my baby. Everything. She. I take the trash out of her. Any part on her body is not untouchable. Like, that's mine. She. I'm hers. <laughs> it's all good. Now. Can't be like that with everybody. She's gonna be my wife, so it's okay. This dog is really biting my ankles for attention. It's Robin. It. Sorry, if I go through Lil Wayne's, if Lil Wayne's songs pop up on my shit, I'm deleting it. He is no longer inside of my damn, inside my playlist. He went ham on that man's son. And I lost total respect for that man. Just talking about, don't nobody care about that faggot. Like, that little boy is 12 years old. Like, why, why you take the time out of your life to talk about that man's child that's crazy i can't i can't represent stupidity i don't care how rich you are I, and i know he's still gonna be rich and he gonna be who he is and you know you gotta love people for who they are but i i can't deal with certain types of people about to get married y'all it is a good feeling i never thought that i would be getting married i took long enough dinner I? I found the one i found the one yeah man oh yeah like i was saying i lost friends from high school because i done came out of the closet and they like nah you gay i can't be your friend i'm like well damn you wasn't really a friend That shit hurt, but you gotta move forward. No. I've been losing friends my whole life. So glad I'm not that real sensitive nigga who's gonna cry about it. But it would be nice to have somebody part of the team who really, really fuck with the niggas a long way, like, you know what I mean? But oh well. So I got my son for my mom and my wife is my best friend, my damn brother, you know, if I take time out of my life to make you feel important, nigga, you better do the same thing for me, you know what I mean? This shit don't go one way. You in the hospital? You need to get to the hospital. I'm gonna take you. But when I call you, you don't pick up the phone. Y'all better quit it. I got the old man dance by heart now. <laughs> nah, I'll just wait. I wanted to barbecue today, but it's too rainy, and I left my damn wallet, went all the way up to the store, went through the damn line and everything, packed my back pocket, and my wallet was not there, so I guess I'm barbecuing some tomorrow. Rain, snow, sleet, 
cold, hot. Cause you know the Georgia weather crazy. I'm barbecuing tomorrow. <laughs> Man, I enjoy the small things. Just to be able to come home and say, some people can't do that. You know, you gotta appreciate everything that God has blessed you with. You can come home barbecue. You can get in your bed. You can kiss your woman. You can fight, walk. Some people can't even take a shit. You gotta be grateful for everything. And that's what I am. I can't wait to be. I can't wait to be grateful for my uh my first house. Not no ring and shit. Um, I never wanted to do it before. Like I've changed a lot. I never wanted to do it before because I'm always moving around. I'm like shit. I don't own damn house in Georgia. I don't even know I'm be in Georgia. But now I got a wife and my son said he ain't leaving. I said, well, shit, I'm here. So, we gonna buy a nice house. No, nobody can't come move, no. Nope. Visit as much as you want. Y'all know black people like to move in. They say they come for a visit, they like to move in. We like, damn, you got a lot of bags. Not on my watch. You moving in this motherfucker, you gonna be paying the mortgage. For all that, you might as well get your own shit. And I'm like that because of the way, you know, because of what, you know, I let, I let people live with me before and it just, they don't appreciate the shit. Like, you ain't got no money, get up the fuck up and do the dishes. Like, clean up, vacuum. Like, I'm telling you, man, ungrateful people would just lay on your couch, put a dent in it, and then leave and don't even say bye. Nope. Not on my time. Y'all gonna get married. Who happy for me? You happy? I don't give a damn. I'm happy. <laughs> Finally found a woman I could trust to marry, like, long term. You know, everything happy for. Everything happened in due time. I don't put myself on no time. I, I, people put themselves on the time, they cheating themselves. See, what if I had married the last one? You know? I'd have missed out on this. Everybody married. I think. No. No, but I'm getting married, y'all. Uh, I'm excited. Who coming to the wedding? Who is going to take time out of their life and come to my wedding? If you don't love gay people, stay the fuck home. Word on everything. I don't want nobody there talking about these women should not be getting married. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't know how we getting married. I don't know when we getting married. We just be all over the place with it. Might just go downtown. Save all that money for that house. Paying for a bunch of motherfuckers to eat and drink, and they don't even really fuck with you. Ain't really happy for y'all. No, I might just go down to the courthouse. <laughs> I don't fuck with a lot of motherfuckers anyway. the skin off but some skin I couldn't get on that's that's just gonna be flavor but y'all don't put the whole don't put all the skin in the damn chicken salad you're gonna be chewing on sandwich like 
you want me chewing on skin. I just like to chew on the chicken. Kingston, stop it. You're not getting no more chicken. Just a little, little season. Y'all see, I put a little celery in there. Celery, just a little bit. I'm not a really big fan of celery. I know y'all gotta take the. Take the string off the celery, y'all. Just cut it at the top and peel it down. Take the skin off. Big dice. Y'all think salt bay got something? What you talk about, nigga? Should just fall right in the pot. I thank God for not being sick, man. I haven't had a cold, a virus. I haven't had nothing wrong with me. Like, that's a blessing. Health, health is wealth. Health is wealth. Love is love. Okay, I think that's enough. Away from my summer. I wish I could call you up. Miss how to put your love on me. Alright, y'all, I'm about done watching the salad. It was nice talking to y'all. Well, not talking, but 
I did. I didn't feel. I didn't feel like I was by myself. So, because if not, I would be crazy talking to myself. <laughs> am I talking to myself? Literally, I am. But give a fuck. Oh yeah, yo, high school. Hold up, before I hang up. <laughs> High school, I lost friends for being gay. My other good friend I lost all over the road. That that damn female right there. I had a plan to go over the road with my baby mom. When the kids turned 18, she called me up like, yo, yo, come out, come out, come out. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm just going, you know. She's like, nah, man, come on, come get your egg, man. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you the, uh, you know, the park and all that shit. I'm like, all right, bam. I went out there, got my A's. She took her little class to be an instructor. I got on the road with her. Only thing she did was talk to her girlfriend the whole time. I'm like, bro, how you going to teach me if you on the phone? Because this bitch got to be talked to every five minutes. Like, how y'all date females that need to talk all damn day? So you can't get your work done. I left that bitch in Tennessee. I left her in our friendship in Tennessee. Cause that shit was fake. I think I heard she a whole dude, man. Cheers to you. I was grown. I was I was I was in my thirties then. Then. And I just just recently just recently lost a good friend. Cause straight up I was worried about her. Calling her. And she told me some bullshit. Text me some bullshit. And then I text her some shit. She tell me she ain't even reading it. I said, oh shit. Your ass can't read my text. We damn sure don't need to be friends. Like that was some bullshit. And 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 she never and she never tried to reach out after that. So sometimes just got you know you wish them well, but sometimes you just have to let people go, you know. Even though the relationship was fun, sometimes it's just better to be left alone. Cause at at the back of my head, I'm gonna be thinking like, like, do you really fuck with me? And if I'm thinking that. I don't know, that, that don't seem right. So I got to go. I got to move forward. And then, I don't even know if this shit is real or not, because you know how these folks today, when they feelings is hurt, they, they won't say their feelings is hurt. They don't know how to talk about their... They just try to say, oh, fuck you, nigga. Oh, da, 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 da. Well, you really could have just said, you know, I just don't understand why you feel that way, or, you know, I'm hurting, da, 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 da. Niggas is just fake at the end of the day i could tell you like nigga you hurt my feelings like you know what i mean blah blah blah, blah. my feelings hurt da, 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 da. at least you understand how i feel anybody who know me know you ain't i'm never gonna have you guessing you gonna know what the hell going on in my brain all right y'all got my shit looking good I had another friend. Her ass left me downtown. Her ass left me downtown. I'm like, she like, come on, let's go out, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, well, meet me on Piedmont. I got dropped off. I ain't even dropped like, I'm getting dropped off. Like, I'm calling her like, yo, where you at? Where you at? I'm right down the street. 30 minutes go by. Bro, where is you at? I just roll right past, nigga, I don't got time for no bangs. I've been out here for 30 minutes already, and it's cold as shit. It's not even a summer day. It's winter. Nigga, if you, like, what the fuck you want? Like, I don't got time for no games. I don't play games with niggas or bitches. Like, I don't got time. I don't trust nobody no more. I don't, man, before you could trust, <laughs> I don't even trust fucking babies. <laughs> Once the damn babies can get out the seat and start walking, <laughs> I don't trust them. 
damn, some of these damn kids evil too. Cause they raised by evil people. Sorry, sorry for my feelings. I don't trust. I don't trust church people. People say, "Oh man, you could trust her. She goes to church. She's a Christian woman." I, I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I do not trust nobody until they show me they can be trusted. Until you show me you can be trusted, then that's when I trust you. Y'all need to be like that, y'all. I mean, it still don't stop you from getting hurt, but it helped you miss a lot of shit, a lot of shit that you ain't got to deal with. Stop trusting motherfuckers just because of the way they act or the way they look. You got to go by how they treat you. You know? Intentions is a motherfucker. I don't care what you intended to do. But see what you can do, what you do. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. I'm kind of done this by rap. Just add a little mayo in it. A little more mayo. Sneezing y'all food, y'all. Sneeze away. See, I'm teaching y'all good stuff right now. And I ain't even charging you. This for the free ski. This damn dry ass burst eating up a lot of mayo. Satisfied with this, my chicken salad. Thanks for the company. Thanks for tuning in to Raw Veracity. I check y'all out the next time. Yo, thanks for the messages for the people who send me messages. Thanks for the likes to everybody who liking my shit. Thanks for the ads to everybody who added my shit. I started from a big zero. So it's moving up there. You know, I appreciate the ones that did it. And y'all motherfuckers who didn't, come on, let's go. 